Hey guys, I'm Mark. Um, I'm Zach. Welcome I'm back. back. <laughs> yeah, see, what about the welcome back? Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Mark. I'm Zach. And, and this, this is, is Wildcat, Wildcat TV. TV. <clears throat> Now it's time for a Pledge of Allegiance. And the moment of silence. Why are you laughing? Huh? <laughs> Ain't nothing funny. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one indivisible. Wednesday, January 17th, Angleton High School counselors, along with Jeff Detrick, Dean of Instruction with Brazosport College, will host an AHS and Brazosport College dual credit night. The presentation will take place in our auditorium from 6.30 to 8. Mr. Detrick will talk about sequencing of courses, courses accepted at different four-year universities, and courses specific to particular majors. If you have any questions concerning dual credit with BC, make your plans to attend this event that is for parents and students. For any boys wanting to run track this year, practice will start next Tuesday at 4 p.m. at the track. You must have a physical on file and be up to date with your sportswear to practice. Bring something to work in. Remember, next Tuesday, January 16th at 4 p.m. at the stadium. And now it's time for Kroll's, Kroll's Corner. Corner. Hey, good Friday morning, Angleton High School, home of champions. What a beautiful day to be a Wildcat. It is Friday, the first week back from break. I know it's been a long week, and I know that also we haven't had a lot of announcements due to our technical difficulties with the bells and the intercoms, but you guys have done a wonderful job, and I appreciate you for that. We make sure that those announcements have been posted, so if you need to go back and check on anything, they are on our website, and there's a link that you can follow to go see all of those announcements. Um, just going to let you guys know that Monday is a holiday. We celebrate uh, the life of Martin Luther King Jr. and all of the contributions that he made to civil rights and to the United States. You know, he was a phenomenal man. And one of the things that I respect about MLK uh, the most is that he held true to his principles and that while he felt it necessary to make a change, he did it in the correct way. His protest for the most part were nonviolent. He was a nonviolent person and he made sure that his message was sent in a nonviolent way. And because he sent his message with dignity and respect and manners, his message was much more powerful than someone trashing in downtown, burning stuff, looting. Those people, their message is overlooked by their actions. And he held true to his principles that his message would be more powerful if he made sure that he did it the correct way. And I tell you that to say this, if you have an issue, look at Martin Luther King Jr. in the way that he addressed his issues. Was he a perfect man? But no, by any means, none of us are. But he brought attention to the social injustice of the United States in a way that made people pay attention. So when we're off on Monday, it's not just a day for us to have a vacation. It's not just a day for us to recover from coming back from the holidays. Really think about some of the things that MLK did and how he progressed the United States. Are we fixed yet? No. Are we perfect? No. But we're a lot better because of his contribution and the people that helped with that. Hey guys, I just want to let you know that uh, on Wednesday we had time to talk as a class. And we spent some time talking about expectations, and so I want you to know that those expectations are going to hold true. And that when we come back on Tuesday, be prepared uh, to accept consequences if you choose to wear your hat or your hood in the hallway or your do-rags. Be prepared to accept the consequences if you're not going to wear your ID. Those things have to happen, 
and it's going to happen when we get back on Monday. Also, folks, if you do not have your ID, you can go to the library and they can get you the one that you were supposed to get this semester or for a small fee, they can print you a brand new one. Also, as we get second semester going, make sure that you have a parking permit on your car if you are parking here. Uh, and remember that parking on campus is uh, a privilege and not a right, and that you need to make sure that you do the things you need to make sure you got your per parking permit so you can park here on campus. So guys, just wanna let you know that we have girls basketball here tonight. Come on out and support the Lady Cats. They are rolling in district. They're doing a nice job and they deserve your support. They've worked very hard uh, leading up to this season and they're doing a nice job for us. So please come on out and support them. Good luck to our boys basketball team and to our boys and girls soccer teams as they play this weekend. So here we come, we come to the words of wisdom. And the words of wisdom today is I'm gonna show a little video. And I'd like to thank Miss Adams in her first period class for finding this uh, video for us. But um, we're gonna show a little video today that uh, is kind of close to my heart because it's something that I'm guilty of and it's something that I have a little bit of experience with. So uh, stay tuned and watch this video. So as a story, I just confess that I text and drive <laughs> if I get a text, I look at my phone. It's definitely texting. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. I do Snapchat and drive sometimes. Is that like making Snapchats or watching them? What, making them. A, texting is like my main form of communication. Boredom, honestly. And B, well, no, nah, I guess no, it's really just A. <laughs> I've only never done it at stoplights. I've always been really good about it. The passenger has a pretty important role driving now where they're like, oh, red light, red light. If someone that you like texts you, you're like, you can't just like let it sit there without just knowing what they said. Because what if something exciting's happening or something happened? Like every time I do it, I kind of, I think about it. I'm like, why am I doing this? And then I just keep doing it. So I'd like to, like, want to introduce you to a friend of ours. JC. Hi, Alexis. Hi, Dash. Justin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just really quickly want to have a chat, tell you what happened to me. When I was 21 years old, driving home from my college graduation ceremony, driver on his phone was so distracted, he turned left into the intersection at a red light. Another car, an 18-wheeler, swerved to miss him and hit my family's car. And the resulting collision actually killed both of my parents. I spent two months in the hospital fighting for my own life, and then two more months in a rehab hospital, learning how to walk again, learning how to speak again, learning how to dress myself and how to feed myself. I live with a partially paralyzed body. I didn't have my daddy to walk me down the aisle when I got married. Having sort of like met JC, could you look at JC and sort of give those same reasons? Usually I use my phone to change a, a song on. I try, I try to use it as little as possible, but. I'm not gonna look at my phone ever again. Honestly, if I have been sitting at a red light, and I'll like glance down to see if my mom's texting me, but the people's lives that are impacted from something that is so stupid. I can assure you on my drive home right now, I'm not going to use my phone and drive and I'm not gonna do it when I go to work tomorrow and the next day after that until you know it becomes a habit and that just doesn't happen at all. I know this is hard, I'm sorry. It's hard for me too, but you know this is real. You have the power to really actually make a difference and do something about it.
So, I know that the video was pretty powerful, and I know that for some of you, it was kind of shocking, and you, you may be a little touched, could have hit you in your feels, but I want you to know, it is an issue. Texting and driving is an issue. It's a huge issue. And let me tell you a personal experience I have. Uh, probably my second year as, as the principal at Angleton High School, I was on my way to a meeting at George Ranch High School. And I was on 1462. And you know, the speed limit on 1462 is about 60, 65, depending where you are. So that means if it's 60, you're probably doing 65, 70. If it's 65, you, you, you know how that goes. So anyway, I am texting while I'm driving on 1462. And I look up and I'm leaving the road going into a pasture in a curve. And so I slam on the brakes and I barely miss hitting the fence. And I'm sitting there on the side of the road in the middle of this field with my phone in my hand going, that was probably the, one of the stupidest things that you've ever done, Kroll. Yeah, I talk to myself like that sometimes. I was lucky because I didn't hurt myself. I didn't hurt anyone else. I didn't hit any livestock. I didn't tear up anything but it scared me enough that I put my phone down. But it didn't scare me enough for me to put my phone down for a long, long time. Because every once in a while, I still catch myself texting and driving. Now I have a little one, and I'm really concerned when I put the little one in the car that I'm gonna be tempted to pick up the phone and text and drive. Because I want you to know that in Angleton, it is against the law to text and drive. It is against the law to be on your phone in Angleton, unless it's a hands-free device, unless you're using Bluetooth. It is against the law. So not only is it a safety issue for you, it's a legal issue. And it's especially dangerous if you're in a school zone. So guys, I don't wanna just preach at you today, but I want you to know texting and driving is a huge, huge issue in our society, not with your age group, it's with my age group. It's with any age group that is attached to their cell phone. Texting and driving is a huge thing. So please, it can wait. Do it at a stop sign. Do it at a red light. Here's what I do more often than not. If there's something going on on my phone and I'm driving, there are often times that I just pull over on the side of the road, safely away from the side of the road, and take care of my business there. I do a lot of stuff through Bluetooth. Be careful because without without being rude and insensitive sometimes being dead is not the worst thing that can happen to you think about it guys be smart all right guys you know what's coming up it's the weekend not everybody's doing it it's okay to say no and take this opportunity to make yourselves in angleton high school better because we're all wildcats have a great weekend during all lunches journalism department will have their friday fun photo booth set up in the commons Bring your friends, try fun props and poses. Journalism will click it and send it to you. Photos cost a dollar and are sure to bring you thousands of smiles. Come join the fun. All students wanting to try out for baseball must see Coach Lestraco before next Wednesday. He can be found after school in the football coach's office next to the training room. In order to try out, students must be in good academic standing, good discipline, and have a physical and sportswear paperwork completed before January 24th. The tryout dates are Friday, January 26th, and Saturday, January 27th. You must be able to attend both days in order to try out. All right, that's it for this week. See you later. Bye. Next week. <laughs>